have already marked the final cleanup area. Use explosives to clear any obstacles. Do your worst. Master, this is the last follow the procedure. Be aware, your explosive performance with the bang boot. Please dispose of this walking garbage. Hey, bro. Welcome home. Javasek, I need to talk to you about something. Wise, you're here. We need to talk about two important things today. Number one, our income and expenses this month. Bell, don't jump to conclusions. These games... Huh? What games? This is a serious issue. Don't change the subject. As I was saying, first is the video store. This month's revenue is about the same as before, so no change there. What's changed is our proxy work. It's hard to find well-paid commissions with our low internet level right now. Our income this month is less than one-third of what we used to make. Reminder, since I filtered the highest paying commissions available, your income has increased by 32.21%, exceeding 47% of all internet users. Don't be too proud of yourself, Fairy. You're the next topic. So, Wise, because of Fairy, our electricity bill is now five times higher. Seems like we're missing something, Fairy. There better be an explanation. Sorry, I do not understand what you said. Huh. <laughs> now she starts pretending to be useless. Thanks to her, HDD's been running at full capacity 24-7. Of course the electricity bill's going to go up. Perhaps there's a way to borrow some power from our neighbors? Jokes like that are unlike you, Wise. Must be the cunning hair's influence. <laughs> But even when times are tough, I think that we shouldn't take bigger risks just because we need money. That's the second thing I wanted to tell you. We got assigned a killer commission on the proxy network just now. 
but the other party didn't specify what they wanted done. Only that we'll be contacted privately. But our account level is so low right now, and we don't have any particular achievements to speak of. So it's strange someone would come looking for us specifically. The client may have some ulterior motive. And there's been a lot of fraud on the proxy network recently. I wish there was a way to find out who the client is. But the proxy network is anonymous and user info is highly classified. I don't think it's possible. Negative. The assigned commission may contain hidden identity related info. Hidden info? What do you mean by that? The account was created one day before the commission was published. Its user avatar is a low resolution ground photo with no clear subject. The same image could not be retrieved from the internet, so should be presumed to have been taken by the user. According to data analysis of the city's street view and terrain materials, this photo was taken at the verge of the Janus Quarter, which is currently part of the construction site for the old capital metro renovation project. Huh? Really? Wait, let me think. After we exposed what Vision was up to, another round of bidding was held for the project. The company that took over was Bellabog Industries. Ordinary citizens shouldn't be anywhere near the construction site. Could the commission be posted by someone from Bellabog? Master, a TV channel is currently broadcasting a show with a Bellabog staff member as a guest. Well, that's convenient. Let's take a look. No need to. I'm already here. Well, guess we can't rely on Leon today. In that case, let me welcome our guest. So, Anton, let's announce today's topic together. In my opinion, as far as reconstruction plans go, I think Bellabog Industries is better. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> you're like a real expert. Is Bellabog's plan really better? Hmm, that's hard to say, Roar. Using the old metro infrastructure may seem like a more economical and environmentally friendly solution, but it is also more time consuming. Wow, Vision is awesome! You want to talk about safety? Vision is a corrupt company that wanted to hurt civilians to cut costs. Enough with the act! Unlike somebody who is the president of an emerging construction company on the surface. But behind the scenes, they're running away with the money. <sighs> well, that was a complete mess. I'm surprised they aired it. Bellabog's public image has always been pretty good. I'm a little surprised to hear they had a scandal like that. I wonder how much drama this Metro Renovation project is going to stir up. Master, I detect a private message from the client of the previously designated commission. They contacted us? Positive. I detect some threatening words in the message. Please allow me to read it aloud. What? Threatening words? Faithen, we need you. At this moment, our situation is dire. It's life or death. We hope to get your help. Actually, you are the only one who can help, since the stakes are so high and any commission details will compromise my real identity. I hope to talk to you in person. Tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock, I will be waiting for you at the crossing on 6th Street. Please help. Barry, the next time you mention threatening words, Remember to specify who's under threat. Hmm... Judging from their message, the client must be in big trouble. They sounded pretty serious, but asking to meet in person is weird. Why would you meet with the proxy in person without explaining the commission itself? And at 5 o'clock in the morning? Wait a sec! Wise, look at the first line. Faithen, we need you. We never mentioned we're Faithen on this account. How do they know? Master. The client sent us a new private message just now. 
as a sign of good faith, we'll pay 20% of the commission fee in advance as a deposit. Please help us. Your internaut account has received the corresponding payment. Very likely this meetup is a trap. I think it's a bad idea to take this commission, even if they did pay us in advance. You should ask Fairy to politely decline the client. Master, the amount is 1.1 times the total income from Internaut in the previous month. Do you wish to return this deposit? What? How much? 1.1 times the previous month's total income. Bell, perhaps I should go check things out. After all, um, you know. Hmm... I... I guess it'd be okay if we just go take a look. <laughs> Wise, just pretend to be an early morning jogger tomorrow and go have a peek. It's almost time for the meeting. You ready to go? I have to admit I'm a bit anxious, but I'm ready for anything. Cheer up, you'll be fine. Just channel the same energy you have piloting Eos. Be careful, Wise. Barry and I will be ready to back you up whenever you need us. there yet? What's the situation? There's a suspicious guy talking to himself. That brawny guy ahead? What's he saying? <sighs> Without my bro around, I don't know if I can do this. No, 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 no. no. There's only one word in a bro's dictionary. Determination! Oh, <laughs> that makes for a very thin dictionary. Whatever. They'll be here soon. Then, I go for it. If my bro were here, he'd say the same. This guy is really shady. Searching for suspicious person and talking to oneself. Master, the above keywords are somewhat similar to the movie plot of videotape 16-5 on shelf 3, section H. Section H? The one with all those thrillers I don't like from the old civilization? And Wise is too scared to watch them. Movie title, Frightful Fracture, Treacherous Dawn. It tells the story of a criminal with multiple personalities who lures his victims under the guise of asking for help. Each time a victim falls into the trap, the villain utters his famous line in a cheerful tone. Yo, found you! Uh, not great. My hand slipped. Hey, little bro. You drop something? Hmm? Pepper spray? Oh, what's that for? <laughs> Cooking. Sorry about that. I probably should have waited until you got off the phone. You're Faithin, right? Huh? Wise, this guy looks familiar. Wasn't he a guest on Bang Boon Nose yesterday? Anton from Bellabog Industries. That's right. I'm Anton from Bellabog. Since you've already recognized me, I'm gonna make this simple. Faithin, I know it's not common practice to ask to meet in person. But like I said in my message, it's life and death for the company. And because of how serious a matter this is, we can't reveal our identity to outsiders. So we thought it'd be best to meet up in person. This way we can ensure things stay confidential on both ends. I hope you understand. I see. That makes sense. But before we get to the commission, can you explain how you knew our anonymous internet account was actually ours? <laughs> Sorry, I can't reveal that. But our source of information assured us the account was run by the famous Proxy Faithin, and that you were a top-notch proxy with outstanding ability and ethics. Nicole complimented us like that. I'm flattered. <laughs> You're too modest! The cutting hair's highly recommended! 
Huh? Wait, how did you know it was the cunning hairs who introduced us? I knew it was Nicole who gave us away. <laughs> of course she wouldn't let you tell us it was her. She doesn't want us to know she's getting something out of it. Anyway, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Anton, what exactly does Bellabog want our help with? You agree to accept the commission? Right on! Follow me. I'll take you to our construction site. Our president will explain the commission details once we get there. Now, don't you think 5 a.m. is a bit early? Actually, I've been meaning to ask you why you chose this time for our meeting. Uh, it's too early for you? Anyone working construction has already started their shift at this hour. If we're going on a field trip, we need to get prepared. Why don't you go wait with my brother over by the parking lot? He can drive you to the site later. Sure. Thanks for the lift then. We're almost there. Our president is just ahead. She may be young, but she's a real beast. So it's okay if you're nervous. I think you're supposed to say, don't be nervous. <laughs> Watch out! Stay back! <laughs> hey, what have you done now? Oh, it's you, Anton. Diagnostics almost done. Just stay like that. Don't move. Don't worry, kiddo. I'm just gonna install a firewall plugin. It won't hurt. Looks like that's it. Sorry I was late. A real beast, huh? This is Bellabog's leader? <clears throat> hello. Oh, hello there, Mr. Proxy. Sorry I had to see something like this so soon after getting here. <laughs> Our president has been waiting for you. Please. Huh? You're not the president? Ah! What are you doing, Grace? Hmm? Put me oh. down! Huh. I said put me down this Allow me to introduce our president. <clears throat> I'm president of Bellabog Industries, Kaleida Bellabog! Hello, Faithy. Sorry to have you witness the chaos just now. I hope it hasn't got you questioning our professionalism. We got the call from Anton earlier. Everyone is so relieved to hear an excellent proxy like you is here to help. Anton might have already mentioned, our company has taken over the Metro project, but it's not going particularly well because enemies keep getting in the way. Uh, President, do you really think we should refer to them as enemies in front of Mr. Proxy? Huh? Ben, you're too soft. Those crooks have done so many rotten things that were well beyond being polite. Besides, the proxy already accepted our commission, which makes them one of us. We don't need to keep secrets. I agree with Anton. Since we've decided to work for Bellabog Industries, you can treat us as one of your own. Oh, I'm really moved, proxy. You see, we're considered an up-and-coming manufacturing and construction company that's climbing the ranks in the industry. Thanks to that, we won the rights to the Metro Renovation Project. But, since we won the bid, we've become a thorn in the sides of many established companies. They'd like to see us run into trouble and lose the project so they can take it over. 
happened. First, these companies convinced the banks not to give us low-interest loans. Then they sent thugs to the site to cause trouble before trying to block our construction and fire code permits. And there was that stunt they pulled on TV. As if all that wasn't bad enough. During all this scrutiny, there was an accident on the construction site. Last week, three kids went missing in a hollow. Easy there, Grace. You're gonna give our guests the wrong idea. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Proxy, have you heard of our company's self-developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use? I have indeed. Is that what you meant by missing kits? Exactly. Our competitive edge comes from smart machines that can operate safely in the hollows for extended periods. Not only can they effectively resist ether corruption, they're also highly intelligent and can work autonomously according to the situation within a hollow. They're even equipped with specially designed language modules allowing them to talk. I've always taken care of them, and I'm the one who improved upon the prototypes so they'd be fit for specific jobs. I'm responsible for the routine maintenance and upgrades as well. They're like my children. But a few days ago, after updating their logic course, three of them ignored my orders and went deeper into the hollow while working. They still haven't come back. Were they corrupted by ether? We still don't know the cause. Both microchip failure and ether corruption are nothing new for companies operating in the hollows. But when things go wrong involving Bellbog Industries, people are gonna talk. The machines were working fine before. This update was totally unnecessary. If you hadn't uploaded the code he left behind into the logic cores, none of this would have happened. Now wait a minute, Sweet Pea. We aren't sure it's a problem with the core, right? Besides, beautiful and powerful machines deserve a matching soul. As the president of a smart machinery development company, don't you agree? It doesn't matter whether they have a soul. Because I'm the president, it is only appropriate for me to consider them as assets. Putting aside the issue with our enemies, these smart machines cost a fortune. I can't allow the loss of such expensive company property. Proxy, we like to commission you to lead us deep into the hollow and retrieve the three machines that got lost. We already have the rough location of two of them. If there's anything more you want to know, you can ask either Grace or Anton.
This is it. This is where the signal came from. That child. In hollow boring machine Mark III Greta. We need the proxy to lead the search. Grace, describe the boring machine. Hardworking and capable and cute. <laughs> Just like Sweet Pea was when she was little. <sighs> Nobody has a clue what you're talking about. Okay, to put it in words the average human can understand, it's a machine responsible for excavating tunnels. To work faster, it's also equipped with a demolition saw used to tear down buildings. I thought the little thing would become more efficient after the update. I never thought she'd run off. Who even told you to do such an unnecessary update? It's more annoying than my laptop's constant updates. <sighs> you never talked like this when you were a kid. And you used to be so cute when you were little. Um, but it's normal to go through a rebellious phase growing up, right? Maybe the boring machine has just gotten a few rebellious ideas in its head. No, I won't allow it. Huh? I won't allow my cute children to become unruly, rebellious beasts! Midnight drag racing, deliberately scratching up their bodies, putting on massive stickers that are extremely difficult to clean, trying prohibited ether fuel mixtures, even imitating the old civilization cartoons, and trying to merge with other machines! Such a detailed description. I'd like to see that, actually. <sighs> Don't push your buttons, Proxy. Proxy, we have to find it quickly. I just hope it isn't too late. Detecting heavy machinery signal. Syncing location data. The target signal is still active. It's currently... Huh. What's it doing? Well, let's go take a look. I should have packed more.
Scanning suitable exploration. Please bypass the current area. to take. Sorry, we had no other choice. There's a safe zone up ahead. Go there.
can't get through now, right? Phew, we're safe. For now. Now then, how do we get out of here? Hmm. I have an idea. What's that? I hear a girl's voice. Uh, up there! So it's you! The bad guys are trying to break up me and Mr. White! Oh, it's only been a couple of days, and yet our child has become a fabulous young lady. <laughs> uh, just take it easy now, Grace. But who's Mr. White? Another machine? It's not that rundown building it's on, is it? Don't insult Mr. White! One, the boring machine. It somehow awakened this amazing power. Now's not the time for fangirling. Focus on dealing with it. Leave it to me. I'm here. Let's go. <laughs> Get behind me. Just try me. Try this. Max potential energy. All reptiles up here. Please,
backpack just now. It cut through the load-bearing wall. I killed Mr. White! It's all my fault! Now don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. In fact, I should congratulate you. Huh? Now wait just a minute, Grace. Think about what you're saying. Oh no! Grace might know everything about machinery, but she's single as hell! She knows nothing about love! Lift up your head and look around. Mr. White is hugging you! Uh? Every building can only give one hug in its lifetime. He gave his to you. And he even drove off the ethereals. What a gentle building. You have good taste. Uh? Don't be discouraged. We won't let you say goodbye to him just like that. Here, come back with us. Let's work together to rebuild Mr. White on new land.